And this is the largest chateau. Good morning. So today we are going to go and explore some chateaus. delicious. Here's my night. seriously have been blessed with amazing weather like last night it rained the whole night which is perfect it's nighttime and then during the day it's been lovely the last I don't know we haven't really like had much rain that has ruined our plans so this has been great so here's as close as we're getting to this one um, it's $13 a person to get inside and we have like three other ones we want to see plus we really 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 need to get work done today it's been a week so it's like I have sat down and edited a video so it's definitely a time to uh, get some work done there's like seriously just way too much to see in France it's the size of Texas but it's not like so spread out where there's like nothing in between like there's stuff everywhere and a lot of cute small towns and like there's just way too much to explore. I thought a week would be like, you know, pretty good, but oh goodness. That's what it looks like. With a drone. It's pretty cool with those gardens and stuff, but then it's like all on the water. It's crazy. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Good luck in your future travels. Oh, thank you very much. I'm Rick Steves. This is Travel with Rick Steves. Here's some pretty sweet technology. This thing does live translation. If you download a language for Google Translate, and then scan a picture of something. Here's what you see. And here's when we put the phone in front of it. No, it's not working. There it is. Look, it changed it to English. Boom. That's crazy. Isn't that cool? <laughs> to visit I love deals now one parking lot was six euros the one further down was four euros and so we parked there um, it's 13 euros to go inside we're not going to do that we could have easily spent like over 100 euros today of these chateaus that we visited but instead we just get pictures from the outside see what we can and this one for four euros you can have this beautiful view this is also the largest one um, in France You can really explore a whole lot here. You can explore the chapel, um, the, the outside of this building, and then the whole back gardens as well. The front gardens and the inside are really the only things that you need a ticket for. They 
have a moat. It's crazy. When you look really close, you can actually see little bullet hole divots in the concrete uh, all around the palace. Boom, and it prints everything in one slot. I love it. Nice, that's efficient. We're driving an hour now to our hotel. We're actually staying in Orleans tonight. Not New Orleans, the original. <laughs> wow, look at all these bikers. On our way to get dinner at Aldi. Get some cheese and bread is the plan. And voila, it's a perfect French meal. Bon appetit. Since we only wanted a couple of things in Aldi, I asked Peter, so should we bring our bag in? He said, yeah, it's probably a good idea to bring our bag. Well, good thing we did, because we always <laughs> find more. So Little doesn't really have cans of soup, but Aldi does. But I did like Little's bread selection better. But they're very similar, and Aldi has a better cheese selection, I think. Yay, this is such a nice hotel room. Tea and coffee. 